When I first arrived at TC, wearing nine yards of a silk sari, I was sprinting across the 116th Street Station because I didn't want to be late for Professor George Bonanno's class on loss and trauma. <laughs> I arrived rather flustered. Um, I had missed several one, one trains at the station because the sari was way too lengthy to run in. But I was the slowest walking New Yorker and the best dressed in class. <laughs> I sat in the front row, a demonstration of good behavior. Being a fresh immigrant of Indian parents, it was my way to show respect to my guru, to be polite and to be obedient. After all, my training as a psychologist and a corrections officer in the juvenile sex offender unit in New Delhi had exposed me to many bad behaviors. But here, in the United States, I was determined to start fresh. I was tired of being bad, being corrupted by power, and perpetrating penalties instead of bringing rehabilitative care or proper treatments to people who lived in the margins of the society. I had to find out I definitely had to find out what it took to be good and do good unapologetically. It was only a matter of time until I realized that being good is difficult. It doesn't mean saving people. It means leading with and for people with humility and humanity.